guys today is kind of a first I'd like to do a little tutorial about how to turn the time code effects that you can find in Premiere into an actual clock for your video so basically uh, on one of my previous video like two videos ago uh, I filmed both my remotes this one and the other one uh, to show to compare the battery life uh, I had to film them for quite a long time and I thought that during the acceleration time putting a little reference to how much time is passing would be a good idea the thing is that the time code effect in Premiere mainly counts the frame and if you're set in 20 frame per second it makes a little calculation so you have each second it's also useful to have which frame etc mean like um it's kind of a hack and people shouldn't use the time code to have a clock because it's not the purpose of it the purpose is for collaborations and things like that and as a tool of reference but for editing all right so here I'm just gonna start it with a new project you can see here that I've already done it but I'm gonna retry redo it um, it's actually a bit funny because I'm not using Premiere much anymore uh, I've discovered that little hack right before I changed to uh, DaVinci Resolve so I'm probably gonna edit that video on DaVinci Resolve okay so initially when I was looking for that online I uh, heard about time code the effect and usually they tell me to use it both ways either you put an adjustment layer and you just put the time code in Put your adjustment layer here and you put the time code on it and then it should work okay what's happening oh there we go so here you can see a time code it's kind of like at two minutes maybe my footage is in 30 frames per second yeah so maybe that's because of that and there we go so you can just see how it works you can deactivate this thing to just have whatever so now we have a little if we go to one minute it's gonna be around one minute one minute and four etc let's just say because it's pretty long footage I just wanted to like oh, me getting on the skateboard well and then I want to accelerate the part where I just start cruising so we just get here and for example here so here and now we select both and we go same kind of like acceleration percentage and like I said here it's supposed to go three times faster but still the time here just passed normally because even though you accelerated your footage it's still like 60 frames per second considered as 60 frames per second so some other people were suggesting to use uh, transparent video which I was like oh yeah probably the layer is not accelerated but the video the transparent video once it's accelerated might turn and might it might work so here first thing is also that since here because it's applied to a video 
it's like it's gonna reset from this part to this part which wouldn't be too much of a problem because we just can generate and change whatever from but then the real question is once we accelerate things second of clip is one second of the count it's not going faster and it's kind of hard to tell because my laptop is doing a lot of things at the same time but yeah you see it it's like it's normal seconds so what I end up doing just as a try because nobody was suggesting it anywhere else and that's why i'm making that video actually because nobody apparently thought about doing a video about this is to create a new sequence put transparent video in there i think i've tried with the adjustment layer i had some weird behaviors but i think it was just Anyways, uh, I'll do it here with the transparent video. I think it works also with the adjustment layer. And now, so the thing is like, if I have a two hour clip, two hour, two long hour, two hour long clip, I'll have to like kind of extend this thing, keep extending it 10 minutes, etc., etc., etc. Um, it's actually weird because we don't see the time code here. I might have not have put it in here before. And sometimes I actually need to bring it up. That's what I was saying. I had a bit of trouble. So here, whoop, if we go, and so we have that thing. You see, here now it's in the sequence. I go back here and I put the sequence all over it. So, whoop, here, like it, it tends to start at one, you can just reset it in here. So it starts at zero, uh, here, just here, generate the thing, oh, there we go. And now we have like, oh, the start. A little bit bigger scale. Whoop. There we go. Now I'll just do that for a certain amount of time. After six seconds, seven seconds, I'm on the skateboard, and here I cut. And because it's a sequence, it just keeps it going, and it's sampling the sequence, which is exactly what I want. Here's like the sound of the sequence, which is still it. Since we're only using the clock, we don't really use that. And now I'll be accelerating this 600. So you can see it pretty well. Yeah, here we have a circlet, but not really needed. And now we actually can see the time is passing way faster. I don't know if you can tell, but like, yeah, from basically on the timeline, you can tell that there's like seven seconds that pass here. What's wrong? <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, you need to put it back to 24. I'm sorry about that. So it, so it matched because otherwise I was like at seven and it, it was kind of like up. But here you see 16, here there's seven, and whoop. So after 14, around 20 seconds, up I accelerated. And you can see that 
from here like around 20 seconds if I go like over there to make like the same length I have like one minute that passed so it's going much faster I could render it so you could see but like you, yeah here you can see that it's just going faster and then if you go cutting for example just to make another part like that's what I had in the previous video is that some part would be a little bit more slow I would just cut here and then go back to a hundred and then you cut here and you go back to a hundred and you just make sure to that both are always in sync and at the same speed otherwise you're gonna get a shift that starts you see I'm gonna do a little bit the last one maybe like at 300 so we can maybe have a bit more of a slow oh, oh. and the times accelerate on the thing so here I just made a timer to make it a clock it's based on the generate thing so for example here it's 2 p.m. 2.26 p.m. I want it to start at 2.26 and 26 and here let's just say up here the day up I'm, I started at 226 and it helps me keeping track of time even though I made a time lapse here it just goes faster but the clock follows the time that I set up so that we have an idea of time passing kind of thing on a digital clock of course that little dot makes it look like it's not a digital clock and there you go uh, I don't think you can get rid of there's probably a way I don't know like I'm not an expert with the time code there's probably a way of getting rid of the this part mm, not sure exactly but yeah well, you kind of have to deal with it if you don't want it you can probably hide it with like a mask or whatever you know just that's a quick way of getting a small clock without having to I, I don't know other ways like I've I've looked around and other the other ways seem to be way more complicated or required to add maybe add a plug-in or something like that into uh, Premiere if you don't feel like doing it uh, and you don't mind that kind of like time code look uh, that's my suggestion on how to turn the time code into an accelerated or not clock into a clock or uh, but the point of accelerating it uh, with the sequence was really my video hope it helped you uh, and that you understand if there is any question about something maybe that I missed and forget to say and you're having trouble to repeat the same thing uh, just pop a comment uh, I'll answer a, a, ASAP and yeah I hope it helps you and that you like my video don't expect too much tutorial from this channel I mostly talk about whatever I'm up to during my travels uh, but thanks for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.